Mo trimis mama la capre, mo trimis mama la capre. Zu, zu, zu. Previously on Let's Get It On. And here come the pack, the Peledava Equestrian Club. Each horse is different. You need to find the key. The invisible emotion. Here at PEC we teach you the most important lesson a uh, Dacian cavalry needs to know. How to properly fall off your horse without injuring yourself. So we will just uh, uh, shout for victory and have a lovely old time, maybe have a picnic in the rain amongst the, the blood. I'm sure the Putratense will just love uh, this spot. And welcome, welcome, welcome to a new episode of L G I O. It's in the game. <laughs> Let's get it on. Looks like we thoroughly pleased our gods Almoxis because look at this. Unlike our horrible, horrible wife, our new and improved lover, our hearth keeper, did not only not embarrass us politically, but actually helped us in befriending the Budini. Uh, they sent a tactician to help us with their inferior advice. A nice gesture, I guess. And maybe we'll make some friends up in the north. We also finished our uh, research. We apparently know how to operate uh, a shovel now. And it is time for us to finally take revenge on the Scordisii for what they did to Pelindala. And apparently there are still 67 uh, loyalists that are, uh, are uh, determined to try and uh, defend the city and uh, defend their king, Ubusumaros. Uh, maybe the general actually uh, survived our uh, fight in uh, Prendava, came here, proclaimed himself king and now he is about to get uh, impaled. So what an interesting uh, uh, arch for him. We will of course out resolve this. Uh, very protective, we don't want to lose even one guy here and I think uh, yep, yeah, we didn't lose anyone now what to do with the city? we are here of course to take revenge we'll uh, raise it burn it to the ground and uh, the Scordisi uh, were destroyed also a lot of uh, things happen we met uh, new people and i guess it's time for uh, a new war council and here we are at the great city of segundum the slightly burning great city of segundum uh, let's face it the totally devastated city of segundum uh, and we are all gathered here today to for the uh, great council of uh, 277 uh, we have uh, quite a few uh, war targets now. Uh, first, of course, are the Apulii, and much has changed. Uh, they apparently uh, conquered the Revishchi, but not just conquered them, they uh, bitch made them. <laughs> uh, the Revishchi are uh, their uh, satrapy, uh, which means they are their uh, direct vassals. So, uh, uh, interesting uh, development there. On the face of it, we don't really have any real reason to go to war with them because they are our uh, uh, biggest friends and uh, more or less allies because they did help us uh, quite a bit with, uh, with the Scordisii a bit uh, indirectly, but still they did. We also trade with them, but uh, they are uh, <laughs> our direct rivals for uh, everything Dacian. They control uh, the holy site of uh, Kugainon and uh, Sarmisagetusa, Dacia's capital. And the Katiaroi are uh, still an option. Uh, the, our queen uh, still hates them because she, they, they uh, slapped her. But we hated the queen, so it's uh, a point in their favor. <laughs> and we also uh, trade with them. Next we have the, the Budini and uh, literally uh, nothing changed there we are kind of trying to make friends with them so we have more friends to to trade with uh, next are the breuci now the breuci are in uh, a pannonia 
the province next door, uh, which we control the capital of uh, by uh, burning Segundom. They are of course uh, ship shagging Celts uh, and they are also busy at war with uh, the Noriai. They also have uh, their forest are full of uh, yummy yummy timber. So that's uh, an interesting target. And in the province of Illyria we also have uh, two uh, war targets because they are so close to uh, Segundum that we actually border them. The Dalmate, they are native Illyrians and they are at war with the Dardanoi and the Dardanoi are allies with the Odrysians. In a very controversial move by the Odrysians, the Odrysians came to the uh, former lands of the Tribaliai and just uh, uh, kicked them out and killed them and uh, brought in a more uh, agreeable uh, Illyrian tribe which uh, angered most of our people once they heard of that because who goes to war with Feludations? That's just uh, nasty! So uh, controversial war to get in there and the last target would be the the Orsi, another Illyrian tribe, uh, they have uh, tons of uh, really lucrative uh, marble and that's all we know of them. <laughs> Actually we also know about them that they are at war with the Dalmate, so an interesting uh, tidbit there. And of course as it is tradition for us, the first to vote would be our lovely queen, uh, Failure Fenuza. But she uh, breaks tradition and brings her father-in-law, uh, Chieftain Bikili, to also participate in uh, casting the first vote, uh, showing her true allegiance not to her king. No, she is more loyal to the other tribes uh, led by Chieftain Bikili, her father-in-law. Now voting, they surprise everyone by not voting uh, the same not such a united front after all the queen is still angry about uh, the slap of the katero and still insists on, on eradicating every last one of them but her father-in-law showing some uh, more cunning uh, votes to uh, basically continue his original plan of uh, dacian hegemony uh, by force if needed and to go to war against the Apuliae, who control uh, most of the Dachi uh, centers of uh, everything. And next to vote will be a Chieftain uh, the Dazi, a somewhat controversial uh, 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 character that is a bit uh, uh, of a loon. <laughs> the current uh, governor of uh, Malva, our capital, is on delegation to Pelendava for almost a year now, uh, trying to uh, reopen the mines that uh, the Bordiavense uh, burned down. He of course votes to uh, go to war with the uh, Briucci because he wants to get as westward as fastward <laughs> as we can so he pushes towards uh, the west and uh, the most logical uh, of the western targets are the Briucci. Uh, next to vote will be uh, Chieftain Diordanos, the cheerful racist planner of the Putulatense. Uh, he votes to go to war with the uh, Briucci because they are different and they smell bad and <laughs> taking over their lands will uh, consolidate our presence in uh, Pannonia. It seems like uh, making Pannonia great again is one of the slogans that became uh, really uh, popular amongst the Poturatense. Uh, by making uh, Pannonia great again, they of course means to uh, kill everybody that isn't a Dacian and replace them with the uh, proper men of Dacia. And the next vote will be the, the pious people, uh, led by our Pope uh, Denzibalos. He uh, votes to, actually not even votes, he proclaims the observation of sin for anyone uh, involved in a war against the Apuliae, despite it being fratricide and uh, fairly frowned upon by all uh, uh, Dacian uh, going to war in order for, for him basically <laughs> to get <laughs> control of Mount Kogaidon would be uh, not only not a sin but also earn you some uh, good boy points in the eyes of uh, Zalmoxis and of course everything he says is true because he is our Pope. 
So this looks like a really tough one for uh, King uh, Tarbus to vote. And after quite quite some uh, deliberation, we vote to go to war uh, with both, <laughs> more or less, <coughs> both of the popular targets, the Breucci and the Apulia. But first we will pacify the Breucci by uh, killing them. And then, uh, and actually why we are doing that with uh, our loyal Gatian army, we will try and build up a second force somewhere in uh, Gatian Dacia in order to be able to take on the Apulii. Because the Apulii uh, will have the Breucci on their side. That means almost uh, four armies. Wins, and uh, we will have to be able to uh, deal with that. So it looks like the political situation is getting uh, very complex and interesting. So console over, let's actually uh, look at the grand prize Segundum, the great city of Segundum, the capital of Pannonia. Let's check the lovely modifiers first. Uh, honestly I was expecting more. Oh, tax potential plus 5%. That's something, but apparently it's not as good for uh, for uh, farming or trade. Minus five percent and plus three percent for industrial. So an industrial uh, province of sort. We should uh, try and uh, get here as many uh, population as we can, because taxing them is 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 good here. Uh, our first action was of course to do the the exact opposite. <laughs> we killed. We killed the most of uh, anyone we saw. Only six thousand uh, people survived, and um, yeah, the population is uh, devastated. So were the the building, but that's what they get for uh, invading the Dacia. You know, people should just not do that. And of course, they have uh, some kind of uh, main building. Is a tribal gathering, and we will just wait for this one to get repaired. Uh, it's not a, not a bad building and what should we build there I guess when we will have the money if we will ever have the money we will deal with uh, with that <laughs> uh, this actually makes me wonder if we have another uh, 60,000 uh, foreigners with that to uh, give us that lovely modifier of yet yeah, worrying uh, foreign population grand number uh, only minus one uh, public order from taxes. Uh, only it's not really an only. It's it's uh, an annoyance. We will uh, have to deal with that. And of course, because we should role play, our uh, insistence of getting uh, rid of uh, anyone who is a Dacian. Uh, so so so. I, I guess uh, since we just conquered this province, the first thing we should do is just not tax it because we want uh, them to be slightly happy hmm oh yes uh, the culture here is is nasty we only has to we only has yeah we only has 23 uh, percent dacians <laughs> that's not <laughs> properly dacian uh, the celts are still a majority here so for now uh, we will try despite not having any monies uh, we will try to keep them uh, happy so we will move uh, here uh, to make them even more happy by stepping outside of their city and not uh, terrorizing them with our large uh, batons uh, we will deal with the army after we will actually uh, reduce taxes in uh, in general in a bid to keep uh, everybody slightly happy or we will actually lose money oh my goodness so we get 22 and here we will get plus 2 uh, not ideal anyway let's deal with the army I think I will in order to, to save some money we will consolidate the two regiments of the Sikas and the same with the two regiments of the uh, these of the X-Men and yet yeah, this king gives us keeps us in the positive and since we still have some money, we might just want to recruit. Actually, what can we recruit in this uh, province? Uh, we can recruit uh, not not much, <laughs> just uh, some X-Men, and uh, well, potentially we could be able to recruit those our most basic of uh, troops. But we don't even have the manpower to do so. 
uh, worrying but we get uh, access to an interesting uh, unit the Noricene Luguay the Alpine troops uh, these are uh, really really bad these are basic line troops the only good thing about them is that they are uh, somewhat cheap with an upkeep cost of only 96 which is a laughing stock compared to our own levies who only cost us something like uh, 56 but we recruit them from uh, the strata of people that we hate the most the foreigners so we basically take 300 foreigners put them in the front and slowly watch point and laugh as they die so that's why <laughs> i like this <laughs> uh, this type of troops um, doesn't really help with uh, army morale but uh, yeah, <laughs> people should just get over it and uh, uh, my nickname to this type of unit is uh, Zeno Scum because that's what they are we might even recruit them let's see oh we have an interesting access to, to two new uh, Mercury units uh, mercenaries uh, let's talk about uh, the, the more useless of these parts the uh, Skordishchi archers they are uh, <laughs> decent uh, and that's it but a decent uh, mercenary just costs you too much money so we will uh, probably never ever ever hire any of these but look at look at these uh, Kelto Thracian cell swords now depending on who you ask uh, if, if, especially if you ask the Putulatense they will say that these are men that abandoned uh, the Dacian ways and went too much towards the, the, the Keltian ways uh, yeah they are uh, wearing shirts uh, using a shield uh, even having helmets and they use uh, well something that looks like a sword they are called uh, Keltotracian cell swords but uh, they use uh, Sikas these are uh, quite wonderful troops uh, 13 uh, attack, uh, 11 defense and quite a bit of damage not to mention 40 through uh, base morale uh, the only thing that we don't like about them is their cost and their upkeep cost which is uh, uh, astronomical for us but uh, since we only have uh, one of these we might just miss them because someone else will hire them so we will hire them immediately um, uh, yes, we might live to regret this. And should we hire the Xeno Scum? It takes two turns to hire them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, probably not. Uh, this turn we're not moving, but next turn we will move all the way up here. So we might just want to hire them. Um, 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 um. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's hire one of these because I think of a lovely formation that we can uh, actually use them in combination with what we have now. So, oh, that puts us in the in the nasty negatives. So I guess we need to adjust the uh, taxes to uh, yeah uh, a bit more. Oh, this is this is sad. So let's see how this affects. Here we have a plus twenty two and in our uh, main oh, province oh, we have minus two uh, sadness overwhelming well i think it's time to move our agents since we uh, can't afford to do uh, much yeah we can't in order to uh, divert this yeah, we will need four thousand monies oh we might never have so much monies i guess since we do need so much monies our pope will uh, remain here and we will actually activate him to help with the with the taxes actually can we also lower oh, we can actually lower them because he exists or oh, the pope is actually uh, finally finally useful to us so this will help with keeping the people uh, happy we really should invest into getting them back to 100 and then uh, taxing them more <laughs> and uh, let's move our uh, the dear pana our witch uh, she will move here and uh, we will activate her as well that might have helped us with taxes if we were taxing uh, the fools of Segundum but we are not uh, she will help us a lot with uh, cultural uh, conversion she has uh, 4.75 which is uh, quite a bit 
despite her in our uh, lore uh, she is uh, one of the horde that came and settled yeah how is the horde going they still they still exist oh, that, that doesn't help doesn't help at all that's minus seven to public order which explains a lot uh yeah so let's move our spy we need to spy on the uh brewchi <coughs> And just, just look at this, this wonderful army, the Stormcrows, oh, they're mocking us, because the army that was garrisoning uh, Segundum uh, was named the Stormcrows, so they uh, they changed their names to, to, to mock us, because they know, they think that they are protected by the Pax Apulii, but we of course uh, won't, uh, won't respect that. And let's look what they have. They have quite a bit. The raiders and the followers of Cotis. I will research who this god is because I have no idea. Uh, this army actually uh, helped us. The raiders actually came and raided the uh, Skodishchi all the way here to Perendava. It might be interesting if, if we are forced to uh, face them in the field of battle. And last but not least let's do some uh, some research i think the, uh, yeah uh, since we know how to use a shovel we should use that to, we should use that to uh, dig some underfloor drainage that will help with sanitation and growth so uh, yeah that will only take us uh, more than a year to learn how to do that and since we will need an army let's try and define because i have a plan Looks like uh, Garofitsa, our hearth keeper and uh, lover. Mo, mo, mo. Uh, oh, she has a. Oh, she can get a, a bandit, a local bandit that will make her cunning six, and we might just be able to uh, embezzle funds. Wow, she just might save the whole kingdom. Because, in a great act of uh, cuckoldry, <laughs> I guess we can get her uh, married. And hopefully she will get married to a, a proper man could lead our second armies because we don't really don't want another one of these people to get any more uh, gravitas and power because we are greatly uh, overlooked so let's say a small prayer to Zalmoxis and pay our uh, taxes I guess for the for the wedding uh, guy ceremony uh, of 580 coins in order to get our lover her own husband what has uh, King Tarbus's life uh, come to uh, we got Komakitsa and Komakitsa is a willfulness uh, oh is a siege master let's see a philosophic brute mm, brute helps uh, no well, it helps with fighting, but that's not really what we want from him. And uh, philosophic, well, it helps with research and the wealth from culture. So I guess in a way, as Anmoxis did answer our prayers, we did we did got a, a fairly big, a burly fellow, a Zilf Six. He's a fairly competent individual warrior. His uh, actual unit will do a lot of uh, damage on the field of battle. Other than that, uh, what we, we got something of a thinking bull, I guess, uh, uh, philosophical brute. How does that even even compute? And he is, of course, uh, well, he will help with cultural conversion, something that we and a siege expert. Actually, we did our answers, our prayers were answered by the Moxis, uh, Komaikatsa, the thinking bull. Welcome to to the family, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what can we give him. A pet sheep, of course. Who doesn't want a, a sheep? Now let's give him a shield bearer, because we can. And we can give him a tattooed madman or a trophy hunter. I guess uh, uh, a trophy hunter. So he can see further. La, 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 la.